Good afternoon, this is Erin Simone. I am going to be walking you through how to use Gather Content today. First, let's talk about what Gather Content is. Gather Content is a content management platform that will help you organize your content and take it from drafts and notes to a final copy. First step you'll need to do is accept the Gather Content invitation you'll receive in your email, create a username, and then select your project. After you select your project, you'll be taken to that Projects Overview page, which is what we see here. You'll see a breakdown of a overall project progress and recent activity. Let's go to Content. Here you'll see a site map of the different pages that will be on your site. And on this contact, content tab is where you'll navigate to individual pages to write content for each page. After you click on a page, you will find ideas and notes and content blocks to draft or attach content. So we'll see here on this page, we have an instruction to write 500 words max to give an overview of research programs. Let's look at another page. Here on this page, we have more instructions and hints for this one. Short paragraph summary, less than three to four sentences, a link to the website if there is one. You also have the ability to add uh, and upload program materials such as photos, registration forms, and etc. One thing that may be of interest to you is how to add comments. It's pretty simple. All you'll need to do is highlight a section. Go here, you can write a comment. And you can address it to someone that you like to answer from. So I would send it to Jason Johnson. And for this case, I'll send it to myself. So I'll send this and then I can reply. All you need to do to notify the person you're trying to ask a question or make a comment to is add the at symbol. So just to myself again. Okay. And all you will need to do if you receive the answer you need or the feedback that you require, you can just hit resolve conversation. You can also view revision history and comment history. Just see, my comment has been the only one on this page. And then we can also do a revision history and just see all the revisions that have been made. Um, let's say you write something in here and then you delete it. You can go back and you can find it in here. Something you may have noticed is we have all of these colored dots up at the top and back on the uh, overview page, you'll also see that we have these colored dots. And you may be wondering what, what did those signify? And those signify the workflow. So that just signifies where the page is in the workflow. So if it is in drafting or if it's ready for editing, uh, ready for the AgriLife Communications team to review, going back up to uh, the project leader um, at your center or on your project for review. And after you filled out um, or made edits to a page, what you'll need to do, let's go back to this page, is you'll need to update um, the status. So you can mark it as complete. And you'll see here, once um, you mark it as complete, it will be reviewed by the senior editor and a subject matter expert here in our team. Um, and then we'll do testing later. So um, the workflow categories may be a little different depending on your project, uh, but they'll roughly be about the same. So drafting, review, editing, approval, publishing, and then live on WordPress. So you just hit complete and then um, we would receive a update that's ready for review. Another way that you can update the status. Let's say you have multiple pages that you have been populating. You can just click right here, go to actions, and you can update the status. And the cool thing about doing it this way is you can just click here 
And then you can choose who you want to notify. So let's say you want to notify uh, Travis. Then you can just update the status, one fell swoop. This has been a quick overview on how to use Gather Content. I want to thank you so much for your time today and please reach out with any questions. Thanks and take care.